In this video, let us see about the DC motor. What is a motor? We, it is a machine which converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. So you give the electrical input, you will get the mechanical output. So let us see the operation of a DC motor. You see here, here it is a stationary magnetic field. So a magnetic field is set up by this um, magnets which is kept stationary. And you have a coil to which electrical supply is given. So this is a battery representing that a DC supply is given to the conductor. So it carries the current. So when a current carrying conductor is uh, uh, kept in a stationary magnetic field it will experience a force and due to this force it starts rotating so here we are giving electrical energy as input and it gets converted into mechanical energy we will see the magnitude of the force f equal to b i l newton where b is the magnetic field I is the current and L is the length of the conductor. So the direction of this force is given by Fleming's left hand rule. What is Fleming's left hand rule? If you stretch your thumb, forefinger and the middle finger perpendicular to each other, the forefinger, if it points in the direction of the magnetic field and middle finger in the direction of the current, then the thumb will give you the direction of the force or motion. Now, we have an important term in um, DC motors called back EMF or counter EMF. As the name says counter EMF, it actually opposes the applied voltage. So when the armature rotates, the armature is rotating in the stationary magnetic field, it will cut the magnetic field. So EMF will be induced according to Faraday's law. So if you see here, this is the armature which is connected to the electrical supply. When you apply the uh, voltage, electrical voltage, here a back EMF is produced and this back EMF will be opposing the applied voltage. Because according to Lenz law, the induced current produces a magnetic field which will oppose the cause that is producing the current. So, this applied voltage will be opposite to the back EMF. Let us write the voltage equation of the motor. So V is equal to EB plus here you have armature current and armature resistance will be there. So EB plus IARA. So this is opposite to generator equation. Okay. So here you have V is equal to EB plus IARA. So, just multiply by IA here, V into IA is equal to EB IA plus IA square into RA. So, what is this VIA? VIA you see here, it is the electrical input we are giving. Because this is the input voltage and this is the current drawn from the source. So, it is the electrical input. And IA square RA, I square R is loss and you have one more term EB into IA. What is this EB IA? It is actually the electrical equivalent of the mechanical power developed in the armature and this I square RA is the copper loss. So though we give VIA as input mechanical power what we get is only EB IA because we have to supply the copper loss. Now let us derive the condition for maximum power. Already we have derived this uh, equation that is input electrical input is equal to mechanical power plus uh, losses. So now let us denote a term PM for mechanical power that is equal to EBIA. 
So from this equation what is E B I A? V I A minus I A square R A. Now we have to find what is the condition for power to be maximum. So differentiate this power with respect to current I A equal to and equate to 0 so that you will get the condition for maximum power. So if you differentiate this equation that is V I A minus I A square R A differentiate with respect to I A. So if you differentiate you will get V minus 2 I A R A equal to 0 from that you are getting this condition. Now substitute this condition in the first equation. So, instead of I A R I, I can write V B by 2. So, V is equal to E B plus here I am writing V by 2. So, it becomes E B is equal to V by 2. So, this is the condition for maximum power. But practically, we cannot follow this one because almost 50 percentage of the power will be wasted in this case. So, EB back EMF is equal to half the supply voltage you will get the maximum power. Now, let us derive the equation for back EMF. What is the uh, generator equation? EG is equal to 5ZN by 60 into P by A. Back EMF equation and generated EMF equation both are same. Okay. So, back EMF here. 5z by 60 into p by a I can take it as constant. So, back EMF is directly proportional to n. We know the motor equation V is equal to EB plus IA RA. From this I can find what is IA is equal to V minus EB by RA. Now, you see here if the speed increases what happens? Back EMF will increase. If back EM of EB increases, this IA will decrease. So, if the motor runs at a dangerously high speed, naturally back EM of will try to bring the motor current to a lower value, thereby it protects the motor or we can say that it acts like a governor and it self regulates the motor operation. Next we will see the speed equation. So back EMF we know it is pi z n by 60 into p by a. So here we can take all the constants um, like E b is equal to k times phi n where uh, k is given by phi by 60 into p by a. That is all the constant we are uh, representing by another constant. So, speed is directly proportional to back EMF divided by phi. So, from this relation we can write uh, speed is equal to back EMF divided by phi. So, this is a main relation which we used for speed control of DC motor. So, you should remember this one. So, from here we can write it as speed is directly proportional to what is back EMF? V minus IARA divided by 5. So, always remember this equation because this will be applied for speed control of DC motor. Speed regulation. So, the change in speed when the load on the motor is reduced from rated load to zero value. That is, you are fully loading the machine and checking the speed. You remove the load and check the speed. So, that is called speed regulation. So, speed regulation is equal to no load speed minus full load speed divided by full load speed into 100 because we are telling in percentage. So, you multiply by 100. So, this is similar to how we um, evaluate our marks. We may write exam for 20 marks, 40 marks or 50 marks. But finally, our results will be for 100 percentage like that. So, your speed regulation should be in percentage. So, in this channel, 
I have already covered all the topics in power electronics and some topics in basic electrical engineering and solid state drives. So if you have any doubts you can mention in the comment section or you can uh, mail me to readelectricvehicle at gmail.com and if you like the video please do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel for more videos. So let us see what do you mean by torque. If you see this picture you can see here we are uh, trying to tighten bolt. So here we are applying a force and it is rotating about an axis. So the torque is a turning moment of a force about an axis. So for example you take this in motor we have rotational motion or you can assume this to be a car tire. So the car tire how it rotates how a torque is developed. So some force will be acting on it and you have a radius of the tire. So the torque is given by force into radius at which the force acts. So torque is given by F into R newton meter so what is the power so power you know work by time so from the torque let us find what is the power so the work done by the force in one revolution is f into 2 pi r joules so work done per second only we need because we want to calculate what is power so work done per second is equal to this work done into n by 60 will give you joules per second. So that is equal to f into r into 2 pi n by 60. So that 2 pi n by 60 I can write it as omega which is called angular speed. So what is f into r? It is torque. So torque into omega. What is work done per, per second? It is the power. So power developed is equal to T into omega. Now let us calculate the armature torque in DC motor. So we have seen power developed is equal to omega T or 2 pi n by 60 into T. So what is the mechanical power developed? EB into IA. This we have seen already. So EB into IA equal to 2 pi n TA by 60. From this you find what is torque TA. So 60 into EB IA divided by 2 pi n. This 60 divided by 2 pi will give you 9.55 EB IA divided by n. So this is an important formula which will be used in most of the problems. Now let us... Um, Substitute EB equal to 5ZN by 60 into P by A. We know EB is equal to this is the formula. So cancel uh, all the items. So if you simplify this one you will get torque is equal to IA into 5ZN to P by A by 2 pi. So you can write it as torque is directly proportional to flux into current armature current IA. So this is an important relation which you have to remember. So torque is directly proportional to flux into armature current. Next we have shaft torque. So this torque is actually the torque you, uh, available for doing useful work. The armature torque is used to supply some of the losses. So the net available torque if you see it is shaft torque. So the output power is given by 2 pi n T H by 60. So the points to remember here are first the DC motor is a machine that converts electrical energy to mechanical energy and when you place a current carrying conductor in a stationary magnetic field the conductor experiences a mechanical force so thereby electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy and the force magnitude of the force is given by b i l newton where b is magnetic field i is the current and l is length of the conductor 
and if you the direction of the force is given by Fleming's left hand rule always remember this one left hand rule is for motor right hand rule is for generator L left hand L means motor L M so it is motor so the forefinger points in the direction of the magnetic field middle finger in the direction of the current the thumb gives the direction of the force and lens law states that the induced current produces a magnetic field which opposes the motion that causes the induced current so thereby the, your back came of always opposes the applied voltage v is equal to eb plus ira is the motor equation and you have this equation electrical input is equal to mechanical power plus copper losses so this is the mechanical power which is used to do work and the other important equations are speed is directly proportional to voltage by flux and torque is directly proportional to flux into current and output power is given by 2 pi nt by 60 so if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel and these are the references which i have used thank you